Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm Dejan. This is Marvel Heroes 2015, and this video is going to be all about Omega Points and the Omega System. Now, to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is to press the V key, that would be the default key, to bring you into the Synergy screen. You all probably all know that. Now, click on the Omega System tab up here, and this will bring you into the Omega System. Now, you might be like, well, Dejan, what the heck is the Omega System? Well, I've been asked this a lot, and that's actually why I'm making this video, because I get asked this question multiple times every single day. So hopefully this will help. The Omega System is an alternate advancement method in Marvel Heroes 2015 that you can use to further advance your characters outside of just regular leveling or gear advancements and things like that. Now, before we begin on any of these icons or trees here, the first thing you'll need to get started with the Omega System is... Omega experience and Omega points. Now this blue bar down here is your Omega experience bar. This will give you Omega points. Every time you fill this bar up, you'll gain an Omega point. Uh, this bar right here is also the same thing, just a different scale. Now in order to get Omega experience, you, all you have to do is gain experience. So no matter what, whether you're leveling a character or grinding for gear at level 60 maybe, or even just leveling a legendary or whatever it is you're doing, all experience you gain will also go towards Omega experience. It doesn't split the experience or anything like that, it just goes into everything. Now once you have some Omega experience gained and added up, you can come here. All the little icons on this circle here, they're a different tree. You can click on a tree and each tree will have different nodes. Now every single node has a different, different little upgrades or bonuses or whatever you want to call them. I, To be honest, I don't know any official terminology for Omega stuff, so everything I say here could be absolutely wrong terminology-wise. But anyways, so on all these nodes, this one, you put a point into this, that's one XP per defeat. Cool. The way it works is you can't actually, I can't, I can't just come over here and be like, oh, I want Psionic Overlord, see how it's gray? You actually have to work your way towards things. Like if they're gray, you can't click on them. You have to start out always on the lit up nodes. And then as you get them, it unlocks all nodes that are touching. So now I can unlock these two because they're touching. So as you go, you can just aim for whatever you want. And I don't have enough points to go any farther. And so I just unlocked all of these nodes. Now every time you click on a node, you'll see a number will appear. One out of 20. That means you can actually put that many points into this node. So right now this node has one point out of 20. You'll see every time I click on it, the cost goes up. So next rank costs 19 points. Next rank costs 20 points. So they're not always the same, but not every Omega node will have the same XP rates or costs or anything. So some are going to be a lot more expensive than others. Backing out of this tree and going into another one. Again, you just click on a thing and everyone touching it will light up. Now you can see different trees will have different main properties as well like this tree right here or at least this section of this tree adds a lot to physical damage plus 12 rating on physical attacks physical attacks physical attacks and physical defense uh and then right here plus strength so you can also just flat out get stat points from the omega system now i'm not going to go over every single tree and every single node because that would make this video take like an hour long and let's be honest we don't want to watch an hour long video but that is how it works you can uh you can get different stat points, so I just got plus two strength from this, but I'm going to cancel that out. Uh, this isn't the only one. You can get all kinds of different variables and stat points and different things. Like, for example, this node right here, plus 10 energy, or this node right here is plus six intelligence. So, yeah, there's all kinds of different things you can get. Um, you'll really just have to look around and see what kind of stuff you want because it's going to be different for every single character, every single build, and every single player. You're going to all you know find whatever you favor and then aim for that don't worry if you feel like oh i just put all these points into this i kind of regret that oh man i just wasted a ton of my points none of it's permanent you can always reset your omega points at the cost of a retcon device so it might not be terrible right now but say you just spend like 500 points in all this stuff and you're like oh no no i only have three points left but i wanted to get you know merge and possess well, you can reset Omega points here. For me, I can just cancel because I never actually hit accept. But yeah, none of this is permanent. So don't ever feel like, oh, I have to do this. No, 
you can always undo it with the retcon device. Now going back to the main screen, not all of these trees are unlocked at the moment. It's so like, see how there's a lock right there? For example, Cosmic Entities is locked. And, you know, some certain trees are locked. There's about five trees or so that are locked. They're not all available, but they will unlock over time in the game as new events come. Maybe complete a raid or something that may unlock one or whatever. I don't know what's going to cause them to unlock, but certain events will happen throughout the life of Marvel Heroes 2015, and it will unlock different trees. Now, if you're on a character that's not level 60, such as this level 4 Miss Marvel right here, and you're like, well, this is the green XP bar. I want to gain Omega points. I want to see what my Omega points are, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Because like I said, you gain Omega points on any character, any leveling. As long as you're gaining XP, you're gaining Omega points. All you have to do if you want to see your Omega XP bar is right-click your XP bar and you see it just turned blue. This is the Omega bar. And then you can just right-click it to turn it back to your normal XP bar. Now, it doesn't matter which XP bar you have showing, whether it's the Omega system experience or the regular experience bar, you get experience in both of them. And like I said before, it doesn't split the experience or anything like that. You just always get experience in both of these things at the same time. One more thing about the Omega system is it doesn't matter what character you gain the Omega points on or spend the Omega points in. When you gain an Omega point, it goes to every single character. So as you can see here, I have 535 points on Hulk and I've never spent a point. See, this is as many as I have. I have 535 out of 535. That's as many as I've gained currently up to the recording of this video. Um, but say I'm like, okay, well, I only have 535 points. I'm going to go stack Hulk. I don't know, maybe some strength. We'll give Hulk some strength here, whatever. I could probably get some other stuff. We'll just do this. Accepted. Okay. So now Hulk has two extra strength and I'm like, ah, oh, but now I only have 73 points. What? Oh, that's cool, but I, I really wanted to play Thing. Am I going to have to respec or what? Let's go back to Thing real quick. Okay. Now we're back on Thing, and we're like, oh, okay, sweet, we're back up to 535 points. Now I'm on Thing, and I could go a totally different direction if I wanted to. Every character independently spends those points. You don't have to uh, worry about like, oh, well, I want to build a Jean Grey build, so I'm going to stack a bunch of, bunch of mental or energy on her and then switch to somebody like Hulk. And you're like, well, I have all these mental things. What am I going to do? Nope. Every character is independent. So every character gains every Omega point you earn, but they all spend them independently, which is really awesome. It's, it's much like the hero synergy system here where... Uh, you know, every hero you have can have their own different synergies on. You don't have to, like, change it every time you switch heroes. It's exactly like that. Every hero independently spends the Omega points. And like I said, you can reset them whenever you want with a retcon device. One more thing is I should really be ashamed of myself for not calling these nodes Omega abilities earlier in this video. I hope that helped you out with the basics of Omega points. Like I said earlier, I have been getting asked this question a ton, and... I didn't want to get too in-depth. I wasn't going to click on every single tree and then go through every single node or anything like that because I don't think that's what people, you know, want to see when they're asking, what is the Omega Point system? But just know that, like, for example, this node right here, plus one strength, plus one percent chance to summon a nano-controlled Mark 30 extremist armor suit to assist you for 30 seconds. That's pretty cool, by the way. Plus one durability and plus one energy. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet node right there. Um, but yeah. So this is just a summarized version of Omega Points. I hope you learned something from this if you were looking to learn about Omega Points or curious or whatever. And yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave the question in the comments. I will try my hardest to answer everything to the best of my knowledge. If it's something I don't know, there's probably other people there that will be able to answer some questions. But uh, if not, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something. And... I hope you have a great day. Thanks a ton for watching. I'm Deejin. This is Marvel Heroes 2015 Omega System. Have a great day. And most importantly, Hail Hydra.